Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and I want to share with you today um, how to do one of these watering cans. Um, it's called How Does Your Garden Grow Die Set. Um, let me put my glasses on. Um, so there's the um, die set. Uh, when you turn it over you have instructions and then to go with this uh, die set you have another one um, which is this one and it's called Whimsical Blooms die set which you can make flowers to go in it as well and it gives you um, three different sorts well two are you make up more or less the same and then you have this uh, this one which you stick petals onto and um, I'll show you how to do that as well so that's that one and on the back if by magic that is um, all the instructions there as well I've had this die set for quite a while now um, but I've been doing like things for Christmas and things like that so I bit like everybody so let me see what have I done you need six of these so that's that done and that's that bit there that's to show you that look gluing on there the other thing is you see this bit that little bit there this pink bit um, is to go onto the spout and you only get like the die for this one so what I do is I'm going to show you how to do that first I'll stick it onto a piece of paper and then just cut round so that's what I'm going to do and then you get that um, matte and layer effect of it so I'll stick that onto there that's it because you need um, left and a right and one for the middle right you need one of those two of these and I haven't um, glued these together because um, one. It needs to go. It needs to go around that way. I haven't glued them together because uh, you need to cut one of those um, glue tabs off because you would, you won't need to. Let's just move that over there. So because scissors, and then we can glue that. Let's um. So you need to cut two bases and cut one off and then glue that down there. So we do that first, give that time to dry. onto there as if it's going to stay there taking it up to that score line that crease line that's it now I'm going to um, put this one on as well 
but it's best to um, put these on uh, what's their flat how come your I always seem to miss a little um, die cut you know the cut out piece I think you, you know you look at things don't you and you think oh yeah that's it I've got it all and right down in that corner I can see a piece just, I'm just bobbing just grab a pokey tool get out right that's it I'm just gonna put that onto there I like to just bend it over with my fingers and then use a um, um, folder and fold down. Not too much glue. And then we're going to put that onto there. Now I'm going to really put it the wrong way up, didn't I? There you go, that way. Well, that's funny, that's not going together, is it? Right, done it again. I actually think that the um, smaller bit's going to be on the bottom. Let's have it that way up. That's it. I tried, um, thought I was going to be clever and try and make myself a daffodil using some of these flower dyes and um, it didn't work out right. <laughs> um, but I have, I've done um, two different ways for you to see. I wasn't sure whether to do this video or not because... Um, um, Sometimes people, um, sometimes they ask, and sometimes, um, I don't know, I, should, I can't remember if any of the design team have done any either. Oh, I, haven't, oh, I haven't bent that one. Just fold it over a bit. That's it. Yes, I didn't know whether to do it, and like I said, I've been busy with other things as well. Mm. 
and hope everybody's keeping all right. Like that. So you end up with a shape like that. So then these panels are going to come up like this. Okay. That one could have gone in a little bit further. So now we're just going down the side of the panels. So, like that. So it's just um, if you've got the um, tea set, um, you can put the spout on it as well. You know, like um, time for tea, you can put the spout on that as well, and they do give you um, a milk jug. Um, uh, sort of spout and um, a piece for the actual um, head of the watering can so they do give you options to to make up and I've cut um, I've cut them out so you can see inside just to so we're just putting it down that side there's a glue tab there Doesn't take too long. This this one doesn't take too long. Rushing out of them. That one hasn't stuck properly. That's because I didn't get it lined up properly there. Right, okay. Right, we'll leave that to one side. Now we'll just do this bit here. That one's going to go on that way. That one's going to come on that way, and then I just come along with the scissors when I've stuck that on and snip off what I don't need, and then that gives you another colour underneath. I've got 
I see a white edge there. Might have to go in. Is that one? Stick these down. On the actual card, you probably can't see it, but on the actual card, there is like a embossed thing, a lines on there, so you know where these go, so you can line them up. fingers now you bring oh that's silly run it we'll leave that to dry for a minute we'll do this one this is the handle and I've cut it out twice put the detail in and then I'm gonna put that over the over the top so you get two, you, you cut it out, it comes out like that, and then you've got a detail piece to cut in, and um, it comes like that. So I'm going to put some glue on this one. I've got a new pot of glue as well, and it's coming out a bit fast. on to here let that one dry now you get a left and a right of the handle so it's um, like the tea like the teapot set so you put them together you do need to like left and the right as well you see where I folded these over don't put any glue on those at the moment it's a good way to remember not to put glue on you just fold them over and see if we can I want those ones straight I think so you're just gonna bring these two round and put some glue on there so it's just on just on the ends really
that makes your spout to stick onto your watering can whichever side you're going to do it you get um, a piece like that it tells you to cut it out twice um, there's a little glue tab there so you can glue it like so so that's what I'm going to do now then we cut another one this is just craft perfect and put some detail in it because you get you do get that detail and detail dye as well Bend those flaps over. Let me see, because um, this is going to come into here like that, and then that's going to stick onto there. And then I'm going to put that one in there. That's it. So we just need a little bit of glue onto these glue tabs totally missed that one So you're gluing those into there like that. Okay. So I look sim let me see. That's it, so it looked like that. And then we're gonna stick that over there so it um covers most of those up. might have to hold on to this a little bit longer let's go around that way probably be easy You'll have to keep pressing it so that it goes in. That's it. Okay. Then this bit doesn't matter which way where you want it to go. Whether you want doesn't matter which one you put it on. That's going to go onto there. Um, this will probably just need a little bit of a shape. Just roll it over your fingers. So you can have one like that, that one, or you can have like a little um, spout to go on it like that. And then I presume if you have that that way, I'm not sure, you might need another handle from um, the tea set actually, because well, I've never done it like, um, what am I saying, that was the handle to, here's the handle isn't it. 
Yeah, so that would make your milk jug, wouldn't it? So if you had that up there, and that down there, that would make your milk jug. And also, if you if you have got the um, time for tea set, you can use your spout, your teapot spout, to go on there as well. To have, because um, people like you, if they break their teapots or, you know, or if you have a teapot nowadays, but if or um, a, I don't know, um, a glass. decanter or something that's broken and so I'll keep sometimes you use them for um, flower vases don't you so this one I've put on um, red liner tape because it can be quite awkward so because you, you need to be putting it in there and I'm going to do this before I get anything else on now so I think I might put a little drizzle of wet glue on because we'll be needing to take all these off at the same time I think that's what I've done before Glasses down so I can see. Just um, just to stop it from sticking, just straight away. So you bring this in. I tend to line up this um, back one first. And then do the side ones. Bit tricky if you've got arthritic fingers, but you can do it. I know you can. gives you some framework to put one of these in. Um, so now we're going to glue this on and I want to just measure um, where that's going to come. Yeah, I need it about there. So now you can put glue on these um, outside pieces now. And you can put your finger inside, look. Just to give it a press. Just gonna I'll put some glue on this one as well. Turn it round to fascia and then you can see whether you've got it um, level. I haven't got my um, spout level but never mind. <laughs> I've just looked, at, looked down and it's it crooked. <laughs> oh. 
Oh dear, oh dear. Right, now... It's got to go that way up. Now you're going to put this handle on as well. So that's the watering can done. So I'm going to put this flower in because I have done that one. Okay, so let's just put that over to one side. I think we'll do this one first. And um, this is one of the flowers um, that you can do. I think I've shaped all, I've shaped them all with a um, bottle um, and we foam mat um, and let me see which one because to do these that's to, that's for the other one to do these you will need four of these and you glue two pairs together so now we're going to do that. Don't put any glue on these bits. Just down the central pieces. Oh, excuse me. So, and I like to put it on my desk. Usually I've got my mat there, but my glass mat. But I've taken it away today. Um, so once you've done that, then you glue these two pieces together. Still don't put any glue don't put any glue on those bits. Not yet anyway. So that's major stem. Um, the other thing I was just say is I think they do give you um, some dies that are shaped like leaves so if you want to add like ex extra dimension to your flowers you can you, you've got um, dies there to um, stay there to make leaves as well don't want to stay lined up do they Let's see. I'll just leave that for a minute just to um, this glue set. Now, I'm going to go over to the other petals for a moment, for the other one. This is for the other flower shape now. You will need 12. of these petals and you glue two together and then that'll give you six petals okay so we're just gonna glue that together as well and then I think I might glue the other stem together as well and then that'll be everything gluing Alright, so you end up with those petals there. And then this is the same. Glue 
glue two together. Now you will need to put glue on this one, up the top. Line them up. And just press them together. This part is the same, but the top's different. That's all there is to it, I think. But if you... Um, if you've got um, Craft Perfect card, which is 216, um, you can put two sheets in at the same time, and you so that and you've got three of those little petal dies. So you be you can be cutting like 12 out in no time, can't you? So you just repeat it um, like three, two times with two sheets of card, that give you the 12. Oh, let me see, I'll show you in a minute, I'll show you my waist. It's in my bin, I'll show you. This is what I mean. So I've had two sheets of um, Craft Perfect, and I've laid the dies out together make sure if you want to do that make sure you put loads and loads of tape on um, if they're that like I've um, done mine really close together um, but yeah you can get like the the 12 out in no time by using the two sheets right what am I up to now yeah we glue this piece on so now this piece um, slots in. I suppose you could have it come in that way. Yeah, we'll have it that way. Or shall we have it that way? It's because I want it looking like the same both sides. That one that looks a bit crooked. That looks better. Look, I might do it that way. Wasn't lined up on that other one, was it? Because these come on here, and that I ride that one. Will it hide that? No, it won't. That's what I thought. So we will have it behind there. Okay, we do it like that. Put a little bit of glue on those tabs, slide it down there. You might want to put a little bit up the top, so like that, just to at the base there as well just to hold it. Right, let's go back to making the other one. Right, uh, the reason I told you not to glue those other ones here is because you've got little slits in the base one of these and you're going to put that base flower piece through there and bring these little ones down like that I was going to take them out and do it but
Uh oh. Stay. Do opposite ends. It's good these um, stems are quite um, firm when you. That's it. So you, you end up like that. So then we're going to put some glue on this one as well. And some glue on this one. And glue those down to there. Now you have this rounded edge one and um, and uh, a spiky one, that one there. So it's that one and that one, they're the same method. Right, so all we need to do now, I'm going to glue that one on first, I think. So I've done alternate colours on this. and try and stuck on the petals fingers are all glued up there you go so you might have to lift the petals again but you can do that at home can't you you can lift your petals once the glue's dried a bit you can lift them up a bit so that's that's that one so now we've got three flowers or two flowers rather so here we go with the last one oh and I forgot to put the little lacy bits round I might show you how that goes on in a minute I've just seen them there so, so I'm done put glue on those bits. So I just put glue on this bit here because that's the bit it's going to be attaching itself to. So you're going to put one on there. One there. I think once you've made one, you're okay, aren't you? You know where you're going with it. It looks complicated to begin with. You can do um, these cut out, um, you know, like the the thinned foam you can get for flowers. These cut that as well, so you can use that as well. I want to show you that um, lacy bit. So I might just stick one on. I won't do them all. 
So, um, so that's your flowers. That's two of the flowers done. Okay. So you've got, I've done two of one sort and one of the other. Um, these little bits here are little lacy bits which can go along there. I'll just stick one on. I've got about these little bits. Um, you could make this for a man as well, couldn't you, if you'd done it in um, a grey colour. Like, you know, like the old, because everything's made out of plastic these days, isn't it? You know, like um, the steel, are they steel? Or aluminium steel? Uh, watering can sealed ones. So you can put a um, piece of lace on all the way around. I've done six, but I've just put one on just to show you. And then um, you can put you can put your flowers in in there as well. But you can also put it in those in that side as well. So it's up to you where you wanna put them. So you could I could I should you'd probably get about six flowers in there, wouldn't you? Um, to give to somebody anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video and um i'll see you again soon bye bye for now